how to spot deliverability issues in less than 10 minutes. Hi guys, I'm Jake and today I wanted to show you how can you quickly identify any ongoing deliverability problems. While running your campaigns, it is crucial to be able to react in time to prevent things from getting even worse. So I wanted to show you a short checklist made by my colleague Daniel, which will help you easily track down any potential issues. So let's jump right into it. Number one, I checked the campaign open reply and bounce stats. These metrics are the very first thing to look at if you want to spot any problems. Always keep an eye on the main stats of your campaigns. The open rate and reply rate give you a good indication of how your campaign is performing in comparison to either global benchmarks or your own KPIs. The bounce rate shows if you have a serious deliverability problem or if you're about to find yourself in one. Number two, I check open rates for any sudden drops or steady decline. The way your open rate changes shows you how your performance changes. If you notice a sudden drop, something might have happened recently. For example, you landed on the blacklist. If there is a steady decline, you might be doing something wrong for quite some time now, which means your reputation could have also been going down for quite some time. Either way, it's time to react. Number three, I check if open rates on single emails are below 40%. Of course, benchmarks can be different for each country and market, but successful campaigns in general stay around or above 40% of the open rate for each step. If your single emails are below that, there might be some room for improvement. Number four, I check the copy, length, structure and I to you ratio. If I notice any issues, I check the copy. I look for any spam words, I check if it's not too long, as we recommend sticking to around 100 words. Uh, I check if it's not too formatted or too heavy in terms of HTML, meaning any bolding, lists or tables. I also check the content and review my value proposition. So is my offer actually solving a pain my target wants to solve? Maybe I focus too much on myself instead of on my prospects. Number five, I check the daily sending. Always verify the limit. Double check if you're not exceeding the safe limits recommended by us, let alone your provider limits. It's better to spread the sending over some time than exceed the limits by sending in a short period. So stick to lower numbers. According to global data, sending 200 emails a day from a single mailbox tends to result in two times lower open rate than when sending up to 20 emails a day. Number six, I check all links for blacklists in MX Toolbox. MX Toolbox is your friend, so don't hesitate to use it. If you use links, you might want to reconsider doing that as it can negatively affect your deliverability, especially if you reach out to enterprises, which tend to have more strict policies. If you need to use some links, do a quick check if they are not blacklisted anywhere. Number seven, I check the bounce messages and codes. Getting a bounce message is not the end of the world. Carefully review the possible reasons reasons for getting rejected while checking the bounce messages and codes in your inbox. Are those temporary self-bounces or some serious spam suspicions? If you receive a lot of email not found bounces, maybe it would be good to clean your list again with a bit more strict filtering. If you receive a lot of spam related bounces, maybe it's time to experiment with different, safer content. Number eight, I use MailTester to check SPF and DKIM settings. MailTester is another ally. Check your email configuration and setup by sending them an email. It's an easy and free tool to verify all the sending records and their alignment, along with the basic checkup of the content. MailTester will display any issues with SPF and DKIM settings. Make sure to pay close attention to this info, as there might be some step to take in order to improve the configuration. Such technicalities have an immense impact on your deliverability, hence the results of your outreach. Number nine, I check for broken links and the HTML footprint. Finally, check if all your links are working properly. You can also review if your email body is not too heavy in terms of HTML. Keep in mind that a basic plain text emails always perform best. And the more you enhance your content, the more HTML it can carry. So do that carefully. After you do all these steps, make a quick assessment and ask yourself which ones are the biggest challenges in my outreach? Which ones are the most likely to have the biggest effect on my results? Try addressing them one by one, sorting them by priority and possible impact. If you can, tackle all of them to improve your outreach as much as possible. Use this list to quickly identify any ongoing issues and monitor your outreach in a much more organized way. Once you know what to improve, you might want to check out our other videos on deliverability. So subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more tips. See you.